Lower 80s in Boynton Beach, 87 in Boca Raton, some 70s as well in Jupiter Farms, low to mid 70s across the Treasure Coast and east of I-95, it feels like 75 degrees. Now, it feels like temperatures today will be close to 103, peaking around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So that impact to weather because of those temperatures climbing into the mid-90s, 10 degrees above the normal, and we're going to see a lot of sunshine out there. We'll see drier conditions today and same thing on Memorial Day. Yesterday we saw a lot of thunderstorms late in the evening hours, but today only a 20% chance of an inland shower. Now for the next couple of days, the heat will continue. Feels like temperatures will be in the triple digits at least until Friday, and air temperatures near 94 to 95 degrees, and we could be even tying, nearing, even breaking the records this week once again. So things are pretty clear right now from the Treasure Coast down into the Palm Beaches and overall looking pretty good out there. We're going to keep it dry at least until 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We may see some downpours developing, nothing too strong today. By 4, 5 o'clock, we will see some rain developing west of the Turnpike near State Road 7, just southwest of Wellington. And then we'll see some, some showers lingering around until 7 o'clock tonight. Now tomorrow on Memorial Day, if you want to head out to the beach, looking pretty good good, but if you're looking at towards the west, we'll see some downpours um, developing near the highways, even west of the turnpike around 3.30 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Some thunderstorms will linger around inland of Palm Beach County because of the sea breeze. Now, rain chances will be increasing, especially on Wednesday and Thursday. We'll see that sea breeze sparking those strong thunderstorms and the potential for some isolated severe thunderstorms Wednesday evening after 6 and 7 o'clock. And same thing on your Thursday as well. We'll see those thunderstorms brewing out west and tracking towards the northeast around 8 o'clock on your Thursday. So that wet weather will be um, returning to South Florida Wednesday and Thursday afternoon. So tomorrow we'll see those hot temperatures near 96 to 97 degrees. Out in the waters, we have seas less than 2 feet and low tide later this afternoon after four and your seven day forecast we're keeping those rain chances near 20 to 30 percent mainly across our inland communities temperatures will be near 95 to 96 degrees a little bit cooler on friday and saturday with highs back into the 80s